What's going on guys, it's Farts Gamer here and today I'm bringing you guys another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I run my gadgets and raids and alerts and, and what you need to be doing to maximize your damage. I'm not going to say I have the best loadout but this is a pretty good one for damage and uh, it's pretty uh, versatile. You can change your playstyle however you want to and uh, just enjoy the way you play the game. But uh, this is what I've been using and let's get right into it. Okay, to start off this video, you're going to be making sure that you have your stat points spec correctly. So what you're going to do is go into your focus, super powered, I mean your stat points tree and go to focus, super powered. You're going to fill out your critical attack chance, you're going to fill out your critical attack damage, and you're going to fill out your might and power. And if you can't, which is the case for me, then you're just going to have to like grind skill points. And if you can, just fill out health or anything else that you want to that makes sense to you. Now for the loadout, this is for the AOE loadout. I'm going to be showing you guys three different loadouts and this is for AOE. You're going to start off with the gauze grenade, fear gas, stealth, implosion mine, EMP pulse, and suppressor turret. And in your stealth loadout, you're going to have chirofoam, suppressor turret, asphyxiation gas, and surprise. Surprise attack. <laughs> Sorry. Now you want to have the suppressor turret in your stealth loadout because if you don't have it in your stealth loadout when you call it up, it's just gonna like implode on itself, and you're not gonna you're gonna have to keep on summoning it uh, summoning it again. So I'm just gonna show you an example of that real fast. Yeah, you don't want that to happen while you're trying to like, have it out. So just have it in here so it's safe and it doesn't destroy itself. All right, so there's a couple things you need to worry about when you're using this loadout. Uh, first, do not go into stealth immediately. Do not clip stealth with this power or else you're just going to get knocked immediately out just like that. So just like, give it a few seconds, wait for this animation to finish, and then go into stealth. I'm going to show you guys how I do it and how I time it. So when I first start off the fight or something, I'll throw this, I'll do this, just wait two seconds, count one, two, and then you should be able to get into stealth successfully and use any of these abilities. Surprise attack for single target and chirofoam for multi-target. So I'm gonna show you guys again. One, two. And yeah, that's 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 just the first thing. And another thing is this implosion mine right here, or therm is it implosion? It's it's implosion, sorry about that. Uh, when you if you can jump cancel this and you don't want to do that I didn't do it just then but if you do it and then jump immediately it cancels out so you do not want to jump when you're using this ability because it will cancel out and the last thing is if you jump while using the suppressor turret it's also going to cancel out or if you try to like do another thing before like letting the animation finish it's just not going to come out so Wait for this full thing to come out, and then you can start going to town on the ads or boss, whatever you're doing. And the last thing that I want to tell you about before we go on with the actual, like how I do the rotation, is that you should not have your suppressor turret out at all times because having it out and when you're not doing anything, it's just going to keep on destroying itself. So just like wait till you're about to fight something to pull it out, and you should be good. You're going to see in a few seconds that it's just going to blow up after I'm not pressing any buttons. Yep, there you go. Alright, so here's the rotation, and this is how I run when I'm fighting a group of ads. Alright, that's it for the AOE loadout. Um, obviously, when you go into stealth, you can either use um, this surprise attack for single target. It only hits single target. Or you can use your supercharge if it's like a boss fight or like a large group of ads. Whatever you want to do. You can use this supercharge if you want to. But the main purpose of the Cairo from is for uh, multiple ads. It adds like a little tick to, all, to one ad and then it spreads out to all the other ads. And so that's it for the AOE loadout. Let's move on to the single target loadout. All right, so for the single target loadout, 
you're going to be replacing gauze grenade with taser pool and pretty much keeping everything else the same yeah that's 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 pretty much it keep everything else the same and replace uh gauze grenade with taser pool The main difference with this loadout is that you're going to be using this two times instead of once like the gauze grenade and then you're going to go into fear gas again. And keep keep in mind that the same things apply. Do not clip these abilities, do not jump with this, do not jump with this. So just keep the, be in mind, keep in mind those little tips and you should be all right. All right, so here's a single target rotation. going to stealth again but I'm gonna run out of power but you get the gist yeah. alright this last load I'm gonna show you guys is for the elite raids and harder content that allows you to be farther away from the boss so you go into your thing and you put taser pool fear gas stealth gauze grenade and paralyzing dart suppress it and suppress it of force and in your stealth loadout you're gonna have everything the same but instead of using surprise attack you can use pyrofoam or you could put even a sticky bomb in there if you want to and this is how I run the loadout Alright, for this last part of the video, I'm going to show you guys what you should be having inside of your gear, mod-wise. You're going to need a uh, blast adapter in your weapons. You're going to need might and power in your headpiece. You're going to put, you can put any uh, tactical mod that you get that from those um little uh, mod boxes. Or if you have any in your league bank or if you have some laying around, put anything in there you want to. But make sure it's like for your power. I have energized EMP, so I get 3% of my power back every time I use EMP. Escalating Might for your neck. You're going to need Berserker for your back and Might. Put a Might, just a straight Might mod in your chest piece because you don't need any of the affinity bonuses that come with the chest piece. So you might as well just go with the extra Might and get core strength in your chest. Might and health in your legs. You're going to need restorative anything. I put Sticky Bomb in there. I rarely use Sticky Bomb, so it's just there to fill it up. I'm gonna need might in both your rings, might in your boots, might in your belt. I still have the OP belt from the time torn error. Uh, I probably should get rid of this. Um, might in your hands, might in power in your shoulders, and yeah, that's it. Altogether, I have 21,000 might. So, yeah. Oh, and also, you need to work on. These, if you don't feel like making generator mods, you can always use the ones that they gave you at revamp or just make them, if you have time to make them, you can make these. These are the Might Goons of Gotham generator mods. They give you 251 Might per generator mod, so they're also pretty useful. And yeah, I don't make any other mods other than this, so yes. Alright guys, just let me know what you think of this gadget DPS loadout, tell me if it's working for you, if it's not, what you're using and how you're using it, and uh, let's just try to help each other improve. Anyways, it's been Farts Gaming, and I'm going to leave you guys to try out this loadout. See you later.